Whoa, shit. Oh, we got company. As soon as I came back, instant death. Cool, easy kill then. And the electricity got him. What? Oh, you're talking about you're talking about a gun. I thought that was another enemy. What? I don't see him. Well, we got the key. Oh shit. I didn't get to... There was like items up there that I didn't get to grab. I'm going back. I want those items. Not like I can even grab them though because of my fucking parasite. Hmm. Okay. So, does it not punish me for picking up health items? Wait, why are we doing this? Hold on. <laughs> I just thought about that. Like, why are we going through jumping when we could just do this thing?
Yep. Tara. it. What the hell is that? I feel like we're about to run face to face into Cthulhu or something. Holy shit, it's the abyss. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, what the hell? Are those fingers? Damn those things. Yeah, I used one only. I was... I was really low. Yeah, seriously. Oh my god, he's already down to his final stage?
Oh, God damn that. He had one on his tentacle on the ground. I just now noticed it, yeah. Is that it? What? Uh, that? That was it? This Cthulhu motherfucker? That's it? He pretty much... Wait, do we jump in after him? Or... I don't have a data cube. What is that? Damn, this is a long drop. I don't know. Huh. I remember everything now. I know why I deserve to be here. The crash. That's why I belong. It's always the crash I return to. Huh. Is that a car? There's a fucking car at the bottom of the ocean. What the hell is this doing here? Whoa, this place is trippy. I uh, only did the house twice, yeah. Whoa, it's that thing again. Looks like a brain. Cthulhu's, Cthulhu's son, I don't know, fucking god damn, that thing was crazy looking. Was it always hiding in that black ball of water? What? What the fuck? Is that her as a kid? Mom? Do you see the white shadow? Is it 
the hell the astronaut oh Wait, that's it? So all this time she's been like so she never even was an astronaut. She literally never even went to space. She's been this whole time been abducted by this Cthulhu thing at the bottom of a river when she crashed her car off a cliff? What? And was it using the white, like, white noise to distract her to make her crash? Like, was the astronaut even real? Was the astronaut just a hallucination to make her crash? <sighs> just mind blown. Like, what the fuck? So this whole time, she's not even an astronaut. She's just... Like, this is all just like dreams that she's going through over and over and over again because this eldritch beast is feeding off of her. That's why Cthulhu's called the Dream Eater. It would be... It would make sense, but... What the hell? <laughs> so this whole time... This whole time I thought she was an astronaut that landed on some strange planet. She never even was an astronaut. She never was a fucking astronaut. She never was a fucking anything. What the fuck? That came out of so left field. I was not expecting it. I mean, like, I saw the water pools earlier in the game. Like, oh, maybe we could go underwater at some point. It never came to my mind like, oh, and she's going to meet Cthulhu. Or one of its children or something. Fucking... <laughs> God damn. <laughs> well, I mean, I thought the boss that, that we fought was supposed to... Yeah, and I saw the little toy doll attack me. Well, the first time I went up the stairs, I saw the astronaut outside the window. Um, well, there's a dark void on my left, and then if I go to my right, it... You mean that, like, sun piece of metal on the wall? 
Well, it's all by the stairs. I don't, I don't remember exactly what's on the top of the stairs. I just remember once you go to the top of the stairs, you turn around, there's a telescope, and there's a window, and then there's a there's a drawer, and then there's your door that leads to a bedroom. And there's a door on... T oh, I remember that painting, but I didn't know it had... Wait. Wait, you're right. Yeah, it was him. It had the three dotted eyes. Oh my god. So this whole time, even the house was a hallucination by him. Oh my god. It was all a hallucination. It was all just hallucinations to make her dream, and he feeds off of it. That makes sense now. All the tentacles on the enemies. Like, it made... Dude, it made no sense to me when we fought that flying dude and he had tentacles on his left arm. Like, what the fuck? Is he a deep sea bird? What the fuck? But... Now it all makes sense. All the tentacles and the fucking... Fucking hentai shit going on with the tentacle porn? No, that, that all makes sense. It's all because of the Cthulhu bitch ruling it. Of course he get freaking his rocks on that shit. God damn. Well, the fact that like all the all the enemies had like almost the same eye type too. Almost all of them had the same like three dotted eye thing going on too. It's like he was impersonating those bosses the whole time. And then there's like all the times you died and you saw like the bubbles rushing by and the like the the like smoky water pushing you down deeper. They all make sense now. The f <laughs> The black sphere is Ouroboros? I'm sorry. The only way I know Ouroboros is from Resident Evil 5, so you might need to explain that one. What the hell is Ouroboros? Oh, it's a biblical thing? Huh. Hmm. Just like an omnipresent mass? Hmm. Oh. So it's like another symbol for infinite. Like instead of the two circles connecting to each other, it's just one circle? That explains a lot. That fucking giant mass of water was making us have infinite runs of the same shit, and it's always back to that crash. And it wasn't. E and the thing is, like, the crash wasn't even the crash. The crash was the car. What the hell? 